going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Kevin Jackowitz. Welcome to the Cage Review and welcome to the Rock and Metal Review, where I'm coming back to Mashuga, and I'm going to tell you guys something right now. I have got a drum set, and through some of these Mashuga critiques that I've had, you guys have been talking about uh, Hayek, who is an amazing, fucking phenomenal drummer. Uh, the dude's definitely better than I am. But there have been people that like question my ability to play drums. Well, I've got a drum set. I've got some work to do on it because I got it really cheap. Uh, but now we're going to find out if I can play drums or not. But that being said, Meshuga. Uh, I started this band out with a couple of reactions. And the biggest critique I had was I absolutely loved the band. And I thought the music was great. I had some things to say about the vocals at first, which have definitely grown on me. And I really do love this band now. Um... But people jumped all over me for that, man. It was just like, fanboys are fanboys, and there is no talking about your favorite bands, man. Uh, so, but I, I did get to see Meshuga live, and I was blown away. Uh, it was the time of my life. The, the crowd energy was frenetic, dude. It was amazing. And so, I really have a love for Meshuga that um, I think, honestly, if you can appreciate unless you've actually seen them live. So the reaction I'm going to do today with all that said is Break Those Bones Who Sinews Gave It Motion. Interesting title for a song. Have not heard it yet. Don't know what to expect. Uh, they've got some crazy ass rhythms though. So let's dig into it and see what we have. Mashuga. Sorry, I know that was a long ass intro. Yeah. 
is anytime you have a negative you're gonna have a bunch of fanboys who are just going to bitch and piss and moan but guess what um <laughs> I like what they were doing but they found a pocket and aside from a couple of drum rhythm changes where he went from mainly tom work to having kind of a standard fucking you know bass snare rhythm uh I mean, it just stayed there. And so that's a problem when it's a seven minute song. Uh, I think it could have been a lot shorter and served its purpose a lot better. Um, because it's cool, you're kind of showing what you can do musically. But if it really doesn't go anywhere, then, you know, I mean, for me, that's an issue. Uh, I've seen. A lot of bands who do less complicated rhythms, but they change it up so much that I kind of gravitate towards stuff like that. I do like rhythm changes and I do like complexity in a song. I like something that has a lot of composition to it. Um, and these are not easy songs by any stretch of the imagination. They do have uh, complicated rhythms within their songs. So I'm not saying that it's not talented at all. Um, but what I am saying is that once you've created a talented rhythm, where does it go from there? If you stay in that one pocket and you don't leave, it can get kind of boring. And I think that's kind of where I was by the end of the song. Um, 
So it doesn't change my opinion of Mashuga. I still love them. I think they are incredibly fucking talented. Uh, they are, you know, truly great at polyrhythms, no doubt about it. Um, it just didn't grab me. And that's just kind of where I'm at. Like, it was cool at first, and I liked the idea of, like, changing up the rhythm and having a little uh, breakdown on the guitar and then switching into another rhythm. But that's where it stayed. So, uh, not my favorite Meshuggah song. I think Bleed certainly grabs your attention a lot harder. Of course, that's a ridiculous song. That's like, <laughs> the, the percussion on that song is ridiculously good. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I gotta be honest to who I am, what I like, what I feel about music, and that's where I'm at with it. So ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think about this in the comments below. If you enjoyed this, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. My name is Kevin Jackowitz, Cage Nation, out.